So have you ever taken pics at a funeral or a wake? You may be surprised to see these pictures on social media, but the truth is the practice has a long history. The New York Times published a story headlined, The iPhone at the Deathbed, reporting that Americans have been photographing the dead since the 1800s. Although according to one author, it came to a stop during World War I because there was, quote, so much death. With changes in technology and culture, people are beginning to capture the dead again. I caught up with Bess Lovejoy, who had this to say. I don't think it's really a question of, is it a good thing to happen or a bad thing to happen? People grieve in different ways. And for some people, having a photo of their dead grandmother or, or child can be a healing part of the grieving process. All right, let's bring back tonight's A-plus panel, attorney and Democratic strategist Bill Caruso and Republican strategist Jeanette Hoffman. Jeanette, I'll start with you. Um, it's funny because I've been to a lot of funerals, a lot of wakes, yeah. and, you know, I've always got my phone. And I'm often tempted to take that selfie, but I don't because, well, I'm tempted <laughs> because that's what goes through my brain. But then the voice in my head or my wife will say, mm, probably way, not appropriate. Yeah. Well, yeah. I've never been tempted to do that okay. because I like to picture my family and friends when they're alive. I don't want to remember them dead, right? But I can see how some people, you know, especially a close loved one, would want to maybe take that picture. But I think the discretion should be left up to the immediate family. Bill, let me ask you, like, where's the line? If you're, if you're not getting the actual deceased person in the picture, uh, then does it just look like you're at some social event? It's a little, a little odd, right? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, the, the, the scope of what's appropriate and what is appropriate anymore sort of blends and changes. I'm kind of where Jeanette is. I don't feel this need at all. Uh, I don't need a voice in my head or, or my wife to tell me no either. I, I watched my grandfather uh, had a closed casket and a loved one in her family created a scene to try to open the casket because they wanted to see him. So I, I understand really? people's wow. desire to want to see their loved one after they've passed. I don't personally have that desire. I want to remember them for the joy and the life that they led when they were here on the planet. It just, it reminded me of just the difference in cultures, right? We talk yeah. about the Irish wake, right? Where there's a celebration of life versus the mourning of the passing of the, of the dead. So I guess it really depends on your perspective. Well, this millennial culture, I'm sure they're gonna wanna Snapchat everything, right? Well, Snapchat's a whole other story, I'm sure. <laughs> Thanks guys.